Hello everyone, my name is Shreven and welcome to my Blitz Max tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about variables and how to use them, declare them, and even what types there are. Now, let's create ourselves a new document. Now remember, inside of Blitz Max, there are a few types of variables. You have integer, float, and string. Okay, so also, if you remember in our last tutorial, we learned about super strict. Okay, now let's see the difference um, with using. So, first we will print our variable, and we're just going to call this A. Now, if we do A int, and then we hit control to run it, we'll get a compiling error saying that it wasn't found. And we'll just give it a value of 5, sorry. Now we'll just comment out super strict. And you'll see that we get 5 because what's max says, oh, this is a variable. It's an integer equals 5. Now in order for this to work with super strict, we need to type in local. Um, local variables can only be used where they're declared. Uh, so for example, if they're declared inside of a function, they can only be used inside that function. Um, it can get a little bit confusing, but you want to mostly use local variables for all your variables. There are a few instances where using a global one may be better, uh, but remember global variables can be accessed anywhere in your program. So you don't really want to use global for everything. Okay, now we will add a second print and we'll call it B. And we'll just make this one a float and assign it 1.0 and hit control R. And as you can see, we now print our integer and we are also printing our, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. We're also printing our float. Okay. Up next, we have our string. And I am going to call this one score. And I'm going to give it a value, data value of score. Okay. So now we're also going to learn that not only can we print, but if we use the plus sign during the print or draw text, we can also, and we'll look at draw text later, we could also combine. So we'll control R, and now you can see we've printed our string with a score of five. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial on three variable types uh, inside of Blitz Max. Uh, later we'll look at globals and constants. And we are now slowly on our way to making games with Blitz Max. Thank you.